Now, I created this channel to talk about topics that don't fit into my other topics. And this is pretty interesting. Andrew Tate, the man that has the serious attention of the internet, got arrested. And his brother, Tristan Tate, let me go ahead and start here. Uh, I really don't know a lot about Andrew Tate. I'm not a hater, but I'm not a fan because I'm not a lonely man that can't get no pussy. I'm not a broke man. So I have no need to listen to Andrew Tate, but I found this to be very interesting. Um, he got arrested for human trafficking and that was very, very interesting because if you've been around, you know, I put up that video where I was commiserating with R. Kelly and I felt R. Kelly was being treated wrong. And I talked about my sexual exploits and the internet went crazy. I had people posting my home address on the internet. Um, I had people leaving comments on anywhere I was on the internet that my name had posted some, some clown would come back and post something. And they tried and they tried and they tried to cancel me, but I didn't get canceled. Didn't get canceled at all. In fact, I made more money. So I found it interesting because this is how I see this playing out. Andrew Tate has a cult like following. I don't think him being arrested for sex trafficking is going to do anything to dampen the enthusiasm of his fan base. I don't think so. I don't think they're just going to like he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Now, we're in the preliminary stage of this. He just got arrested. So if Andrew Tate gets charged and convicted and goes to jail, that's a game changer. But right now, all we know is he was arrested and we don't know the charges and don't know how far this because it, it could just stop at him being arrested. You know, he could arrest, he can have some attorneys work out a plea deal. I don't know, I don't know. But I found it interesting that me, a person who's never been arrested for sex trafficking, has been never arrested for rape, never arrested for any sexual crime. I had so many people coming for me and it's interesting because, like I said, I'm not a deep consumer of Andrew Tate content. So I, I really don't know. I know he says a lot of stuff of talking about the Matrix and everything. And I was watching part of a video. I didn't even finish it where Richard Cooper of Entrepreneurs and Cars had him on. And he was talking about the Matrix and how he set himself up with his multiple uh, jurisdictions, multiple LLCs, how he doesn't own anything. And I, I found that to be very interesting because at the moment, and this is changing the future, at the moment, my name is on everything. Not one of my companies got shut down. Not my bank account did not get, you know, I uh, heard him talk about they had seized millions of dollars. And the more I listen, because like I said, I, I, I'm not a big consumer of Andrew Tate's content, but the more I listen, arrest, authorities are seizing your money. Like the social media canceled, like I, I really don't pay a lot of credence to that. 
I mean, you know, social media is very fickle. But what did Andrew Tate do to get his money? They don't like, all right. I know Omni and the Hellcat, Andrew Tate would make it seem like, uh, or Kanye West would make it seem like Kanye West is a very good example. Kanye West said that Adidas froze million, $75 million in his bank account. Okay. As a financially literate, as an educated person, the only way that Adidas could have froze Kanye West's money is there was a contractual agreement between Kanye and West that if Kanye West violated certain terms, there would be a forfeiture of funds. No private company such as Adidas, Nike can go in and freeze your accounts. Only the government, and once again, for the a judge has to sign off on a court order to freeze your accounts. It's not like some agent can just go in the computer and flip a few switches. No, no, no. It's it's a process. It's a process. So first of all, they got to have substantial charges. Now, let, let, let's go ahead and talk about this. Kanye and Omni and the Hellcat. You know how long it takes for them to get to the seizure of money. They, they have contacted you numerous times, numerous times. They've, they've contacted you by mail. They may have gotten on the phone. They have been on you. It, the seizure of money is the last thing they do. It's not the first thing. So for Omni and the Hellcat to have millions of dollars frozen, his bank account's frozen. That tells me that they had to have substantial evidence to do that. They just cannot come up with a weak case and get a judge to sign off on that. All right, so let's go to Andrew Tate. Frozen bank accounts. And now an arrest. All right. If he is convicted, we don't know. Once again, this is very preliminary. But if he is convicted and he has to go to trial. Let, let me go ahead and, and explain some stuff to you. Andrew Tate is a high profile person. And typically when they go after high profile people, all of their I's are dotted and all of their T's are crossed because from an authoritative standpoint to go after someone with a very high profile and have a very weak case and have it thrown out of court is very embarrassing for the agency doing that. So typically when they go after a high profile person, a big dog or someone substantial, there's usually fire where there's smoke. So I know that Andrew Tate went out and got these girls and was doing some pimperish stuff. Now, once again, this is all very, very preliminary. This is very, very preliminary. Um, you know, people were making, you know, and once again, like I said, social media aspect, I don't give any credence to that because I had people saying that I was doing human trafficking. I have never pimped out a girl in my life. I have never held a girl against her will. I've never, I've never done any of that stuff. So the social media aspect and the accusations, I, I don't really give credence to that. But, but the, the legal implications, the fact that he is getting arrested, the fact that he's had funds, he said in the interview, that he's had funds frozen, funds frozen. And I'm like, they don't just 
freeze your funds for no reason. That's a court administrative act to get that done. That's not something that you could just easily do. It's just, it's, it's, and once again, we're very, very preliminary, but you know, I look at the stuff that was said about me. Uh, I had so many stupid, absolutely stupid. People don't know how the court systems work. Uh, I remember there was this thread where it was talking about if anyone's got any information, any victims, please come forward because they're working on this investigation. The FBI does not comment on ongoing investigations. They don't do that. So, like I said, all the social media hype and stuff, put that to the side. But the fact that he had money seized and he's been arrested and once again if he gets convicted because once again um i don't know like i said andrew tate's a very cocky confident person um but if he gets convicted and they go to court and he's sitting in a courtroom because the thing is if he gets convicted they're going to have to bring forth the victims and if he's in the courtroom and there's two underage girls and they're testifying against him he's going to jail and once again if you know because right now money seized and being arrested money seized and being arrested um that's that that that's that's the thing i'm looking at and if he's convicted if he's convicted because here's the thing andrew tate kanye west donald trump they put out a false narrative that they're in trouble because they're telling the truth all right i have been telling the truth on the internet since 2009 I have videos talking about how to get around child support. I have been telling the truth since I've been online. And you know what happened? I got richer. So this narrative that Andrew Tate, Kanye West, Donald Trump are spinning that I tell the truth, I get in trouble. That dog don't hunt. It's not the telling of the truth that is getting these guys in trouble. They're breaking the law. They're doing things wrong. That's what's getting them in trouble. Not telling the truth. Like this whole notion that black folks are the real Jews. Let's have that conversation briefly. How does someone telling you on the internet that you are a real Jew benefit your life? I'm about to share something with you. I didn't know my father. Never had a relationship with him. And during my transformational period, that was one of the things I reconciled with me. I was like, you didn't meet the dude, you don't have a relationship with him, you don't even know. I, I did not know who my father was until about two days before my mother died. And many, many years before that point, I had reconciled that we're not gonna have a relationship and I'm gonna be grateful for the father figures I had in my life. And I just got over it. I moved on. And that did not hold me back. So this whole notion that Kanye West who I feel is the reason that he is divorced. I think it wasn't Kim that caused the divorce. I think it was Kanye based upon his previous and current behavior. Um, the telling of the truth, like my whole disruptive male series, which I'm thinking about bringing back, um, about true female nature. Me, Alan Roger Curry. T 
telling you how I had a wife of a millionaire suck my dick in the parking lot. Telling that kind of truth. I've been telling that kind of truth since I've been on the internet. So it's not the telling of the truth that gets you in trouble. And once again, I'm going to say it from the top. For the government to seize his money, they can't just, we don't like you, and therefore we're going to hold your money. It don't work like that. There's something called checks and balances. First of all, they have to build a case. There must be a case and they have to submit evidence with that petition to seize the money. It's not an easy thing to get accomplished. And he said in the interviews, they, so they seized millions of his dollars. And now he's been arrested. He and his brother have been arrested. Now, if he gets to the point where he's in the courtroom and he's convicted, remember Michael Avaletti, the Stormy Daniels attorney, and how he was talking about this stuff or telling the truth. That dude is now in jail because he was stealing his client's money. So I don't know how this is going to work out. But I do know the law and I know how the law works. And honestly, it ain't looking good for Mr. Tate because you could be in another country. You can have all of these shell corporations. But if you go ahead and hold a young girl against her will and make her do something sexual, your ass is going to jail. I don't care who you are. You're going to jail. And this is, you know, like I said, we're going to we're going to keep watching this. We're going to see how this goes. But if that third thing, the first thing is the seizure of money. The second thing is the arrest. And if he's now in, if he's in the courtroom. And, you know, it's interesting because. When you hear this talk of the matrix, all right, I'm a person that the internet tried to cancel. Nothing happened to my bank account. Nothing happened to my credit cards. Nothing happened to my business. I lost an Instagram account because I had people coming to my Instagram account and I said something back. I said one thing I, and Instagram got rid of my account. I was like, good Lord. But you know what? The vast majority of my online properties I own. My websites, I own them. They couldn't, I, I did not have an issue with my website, my website. So this whole notion that if you're telling the truth, you're gonna get canceled by the matrix. Andrew Tate, Kanye West, Donald Trump have common elements. Donald Trump, took classified documents out the White House and took them to his house. Kanye West, it's been a loose cannon since Kanye West has been in the public space. Andrew, Andrew Tate, like, like we, gotta, we gotta watch this, but if Andrew Tate it gets charged, because once again, being arrested, you're not charged. You know, there, there's there's a procedure. They may arrest you and then they can arrest you for any reason to hold you up for three days. So this may be the end of it. That may have been they just arrested him, looked at him, talked to him. But I saw that he and his brother were in handcuffs. And I don't know a lot about the Romanian police. and I, I don't know anything about that, but I do know the law. And I do know that they had to have some type of evidence to knock on his door and to put him in handcuffs. And this is where it gets to be quite interesting. If Andre Andrew Tate has assets. Now this this is this is this is this is really really interesting because 
you know, I have a holding company and you can go to the Georgia Secretary of State and look up my companies. And going forward, I will tell you, um, I buy a house, it will not be in my name. You will not be able to publicly search for a house that I own, that I live in, because it's gonna be in a Wyoming holding company. And this is because of the last thing that happened. I had people literally posting my address online. So I now have a reason for privacy. I understand because once again, I set my businesses up and I, I actually had arguments with people about this whole privacy thing because I will tell you, you know, the main, the main holding company is Disruptive Asset Holdings. And then I have several operating companies under that. And I have told people publicly, you want to know why? I'm not a criminal. I'm an honest businessman. I'm not. I, but, you know, this whole layering, the Panama Papers, why that rich people typically, typically when someone is going through those extremes, nine times out of 10, they're doing something to break the law. Nine times out of 10. Um, I can see value in having multiple passports. I can see value in having multiple domains where you live. I can see value in that. But I can see value in not having anything in your name. Going forward, I've got some new initiatives that are coming up. Like, I am think I'm getting ready to move to Florida to get rid of the state tax. Seriously, I'm thinking about moving to Florida. Um, I'm going to make some changes. So I see a need to have privacy as a rich person. I, I see that. But when you go into, and I, I heard him say this, you have an LLC in the United States that is owned by a holding company in Singapore that is owned by a trust in the Bahamas. When you're going through that level of complexity and layers, typically you're a drug dealer. Uh, Google, Apple, they do what's called a Dutch sandwich. They have their corporations, I think in the Bahamas and some over here in, in Ireland. And it's all, you can, you can go ahead and look, you can look it up, you see what they're doing. So if you're getting to the level where you're having all of these layers, and there could be a legitimate reason to have these layers, but typically when you're going through these lengths and these layers, you're breaking the law somewhere, typically. Typically, that's just what I have seen. And once again, this may not go anywhere else. You know, Andrew Tate got arrested. They couldn't prove anything. They threw the charges out. That may happen. But if they keep up, if he's charged and he has to go to court, I think they're going to get him. Why do I say that? They got Bill Cosby. They got Kanye West. They, they didn't get Kanye West. They got um, R. Kelly. They got Bill Cosby for shit he did in the 60s. So if Andrew Tate gets convicted and has to go to court, they're going to get him. And it's not because it's the Matrix. It's because he did some shit wrong. Now, I will totally disagree. I don't think Bill Cosby did anything wrong. And I'm going to explain why. For a black man in the 60s to be left alone in the room with a little white girl. You know how many black men who couldn't pull that off? The fact that you would be left alone in the 60s with a white woman as a black man. It's very, very rare. Very, very rare. Bill Cosby was walking on rarefied air. And I think Bill pissed off some people and they got him. I would say Bill Cosby had more matrix type stuff than Andrew Tate. Because here's the thing. And about to go the whole <sighs> I had a few girls that would if I wanted to be their pimp and go out and have them turn tricks and bring me money that could have went down but 
I make my own money. I don't need the woman to lay on her back to get money for me. So I never even went there. I could have easily, but I never did that. And this is one of the reasons that when the internet came for me and all these acquisitions, all of these, well, the FBI is investigating him and all this other stuff. I know it was 100% bullshit because I haven't broken the law. I haven't done anything. I haven't broken the law. And with Andrew Tate, like I said, if there are charges, because right now we don't really know a lot. We don't only know is he was arrested. But if there are criminal charges pressed and he has to go to court and they go, that means one, a victim has come forward. They did not go out and find, you know, and this is some, you know, they they were harassing all of his exes. Uh, how do you know who someone's ex-girlfriend is unless you're posting all that shit on social media? None of y'all could ever find one of my exes. You couldn't find them. So I'm, I'm just curious. It's like they were contacting my exes. I was like, how did they know she was an ex? Andre Tate just recently became famous. So unless they were on his Instagram, how did they know? See, the more I listen to this guy and the more I listen with an eye for, because like I said, social media stuff, I don't pay that any attention because I know what can happen with social media. But seizure of money and the rest, and if charges are forthcoming, they gonna get him. And they gonna get him because he did something. That's why they're going to get him. They're not going to get him because it's like, we don't like you. You're a very bad man. You're a very bad man. We're going to get you. You're a very bad. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. How do I know? The Internet was looking for my head. I literally had the black community. Ninety nine percent of that. I had a few white content creators, but the majority, they were after me. They were on me. And they hated the fact that I was making videos talking about, fuck you, I'm living my life. My life is getting better. I'm fucking more chicks while you're hating on the internet. They hated that. They hated the fact that I was deleting their fucking comments. They hated that. So as someone that the internet tried to cancel, Because once again, I, I I don't consume his content, so I don't know all the things he said. But you know, social media stuff aside, I'm looking at the legal implications. I know how hard it is to get your money seized. They just cannot seize your money because they don't like you. That that's not how it works. So the seizure of money and the arrest, and if the third thing comes up, criminal charges are filed. And here's something else too. You know, he he will never, ever have to work a normal job. I don't care what happens with this. But do you know that when you are filling out an application and they ask that question, have you ever been charged with a felony? Not convicted, but charged. And you say no and they do a research because here's the thing. Your arrest or record and your charges are a record now whether you get convicted or not it doesn't matter the fact that you got charged that's big shit so that's why i'm saying seizure of money the arrest and now if he gets charged and here's the something else too and the governments are getting really really smart with this um let's say if they can trace the money, because once again, um, I don't think from listening to him, he's a very intelligent guy. But from a business standpoint, and like, let me go ahead and give you the playbook. If I was doing Andre, Andre, Andrew Tate type stuff, I would have proxies. I would not have shit in my name. I would have proxies and maybe he does. 
but I wouldn't have a merchant account in my name. I would have nothing in my name. Nothing. Cause see, this is the, this is how they go for seizure of money. Number one reason for seizure of money is not paying your taxes. That's another way to get your money seized. And then the illicit proceeds of criminal activity. They had to have some kind of charges to seize this money. They just can't. We don't like you, bad man. We're going to take. No, 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 no. And for some reason, he is scared to come to America. And I would not be surprised if Andre Tate is going to avoid going to countries that have an extradition treaty with the United States of America. Because, see, the more I listen to him. Because all this new found money, this is recent. He didn't have that Bugatti 10 years ago. This is all recent. And it's kind of like, if he, if this new influx, like with his Hustlers University, that's legit money. But if he was doing all of this sex type stuff, this pimperish type stuff, man they gonna get him because you know where he is now with the attention he has the money he makes he can make money legitimately but the beginning you know let's look at andrew tate five years ago that was a different dude i don't think that dude owned the bugatti i don't think that dude had a private jet so as we go back in time and look at who andrew you know Kickboxer. I don't know his kickboxing record and everything. I'll look it up. But I, I got a feeling that if charges are brought forth, he's getting convicted. That's what I got a feeling. And I'm, I speak as someone that the internet tried to cancel. Well, black internet. It was the black internet. It was every low class, broke ass loser. Because that was typically fueled by jealousy. Typically, that's what it was fueled by. Because uh, I've met people who's like, yeah, I saw that. And, you know, I was like, he got some young pussy. So what? That was pretty much the, the people that I've recently met who saw it. And it's like, they didn't think it was a big deal. And, you know, with my disruptive male programs and stuff, and thousands of men go through that. Nothing in those courses will get you put in jail. Nothing. So it's very curious. It's very curious what's going on with Andrew Tate. And we just gotta stay tuned. But like I like I said, if charges are brought forth, you just go to court. They gonna get him. Because he's a high profile person and Typically, the legal administrator, the police, the DAs and stuff, they typically do not go after high profile people unless they have a very solid case. Typically. So we will see. We will see. All right.